So I'm going to make this video as kind of a battery replacement for the APC UPS 350 but what I'm doing is putting in a larger battery because I want a little bit more run time. Uh, this is going to be backing up my modem and router in my apartment here during power outages, so I want it to run 15-20 minutes, but we'll see how that goes. The original battery is in here, but it is dead, as you see right here. Just keeps flashing, and we'll continue to squawk. So what we're going to be doing, I'll plug it here so I don't snap myself, is replacing the battery back here. So you just flip it over, slide off your cover. And this UPS actually came from my old job. It was non-functioning because this battery had died right here. One thing you gotta watch whenever you're mucking with these is sometimes these crack on the bottom. So try not to handle it too much just in case there's battery acid. So what I'm doing here, and it almost knows, I'm pretty sure all the battery acid actually leaked out of it, but, or it was boiled off. So this is the original battery, this is the larger battery right here. And what the problem is when you're swapping out for a larger battery is inside the actual unit you'll see these tabs right here and these are actually to prevent you from putting in a larger battery. But fortunately this battery will fit inside the actual compartment. So I think by removing those plastic tabs, I'll be able to actually put the door back on. If you're not comfortable with remo removing these plastic tabs, a getaway of doing it is to hook up your wires to it, put it in the back, and just leave it like that, or duct tape it in, something like that. Easy way, but being that I got this unit for free, I am going to take my side cutters and cut out all these pieces. Now, these are the side cutters. These are pretty decent good ones. They're probably, I think they're about 30 bucks if I remember. So what I'm doing is just taking off to the side. I'm just going to cut it as far as I can and come in from the side. I need two hands for that, so I'll pause the video, I'll get all these cut out, and then I will do another recording for the actual battery installation, hopefully. So about 20 minutes later, I've got everything that I can stripped up from in here. The battery almost fits. Come on, focus. So it's fairly flush. This door does go on, but it's a little bit tricky. So there's the larger battery in there. Makes this thing weigh quite a bit more. Let's plug it in and see what happens. Well, it seems to accept that battery. It's clicking, charging. Okay, so now it's charging the new battery. So if we unplug it, it'll go into battery power. So, 
So that's how you replace this this style battery. This style battery. <laughs> so you see the size difference in here. Now you might want to check the milliamp rating or the amp rating. This original battery didn't have any of that written on it, so I couldn't see what the voltage was or anything like that. I didn't have a voltmeter. These batteries here are actually batteries from work that uh, we use in our fiber optics UPS systems for our ONTs, which back up the power during the power outage, keeps the home phone running on fiber optic but they seem to work okay. I've also, inside this APC, I had the two batteries that were in it, which were duds. So the two batteries that were in it were crapped out. This one here I got from a friend who uh, had just unplugged it when the batteries died and got rid of it. It's a larger unit. It actually takes two of these batteries, and these batteries are set sitting like this, front to back, and they're wired in series, so they make 24 volts. This here is a 24 volt unit. Uh, it's also made by APC. Um, no idea what the wattage is on it. I'm not sure. This one seems to warm up a bit, which is unusual, but not uncommon I don't think for these. The fan I don't know when it starts to run if it's supposed to run during power outage or if it's just running. When you're drawing a lot of power when it's cleaning but so that's what I've done with this unit here when I uh, have everything reorganized for it I'll be plugging it in and this unit here will be backing up my modem and router for my house during power outage, which we seem to be having more of those more frequently this year, which has been unusual. Usually we hardly ever lose the power here, but it seems to be common this year so far. So one more tip for back here. <clears throat> when you're stripping everything out of here, you have to take anything that's sticking up from the bottom. You have to strip those all out. I should have videotaped it before I put it in there, but I just use these and I grab the side of it and I just kind of break them off. And then for the little short ones, I had to kind of chip, 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 chip away at it, which took a long time. But it does push the cover out just a little bit, but as you saw, it actually went on fairly easily, which was surprising for me. Um, so this is the APC 350, yeah, 350, and this, these are the stats on this particular model. I believe this one, I'm going to say it's probably, oh, 10 years old, I'm not sure, but it sat dormant for... A couple of years and I just happened to come across it when I was cleaning out a closet and uh, decided to make it work again so we'll see how well this works if this fails and catch up fails I'll put up another video stating what happened and what I did wrong but from what I can tell everything's right thanks for watching bye